So we do think the sector is attractive, but we do think investors really need to be on the safer end uh, and on the lower beta names. And the reason is because we are seeing quite a lot of stress. Uh, certainly, if you look at default rates, for example, on the China property side, it is at elevated levels. And we do expect there could be more stresses coming through. So managing that tail risk is really very important. And, and so we don't think investors should be bearish because we think from a policy perspective, policymakers are seeking to keep stability in the property market, are also wanting to avoid any kind of systemic risk. But certainly, we think it's important to be on the safer end. Yeah, but you need sentiment to turn as well, right? It's not just about the signaling that we're getting from the regulators, policymakers, uh, you know, triple R cuts, liquidity measures, SOEs stepping up uh, and helping some of, these, uh, some of these projects from going belly up. It's also about sentiment. So when do you expect sentiment to change, stabilize uh, in its outlook uh, for the China property sector? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely an important point. And I think a lot of it will hinge on in terms of policy moves in the coming weeks. And we think policymakers are needing to find that balance, right? Because on one hand, we understand what they're trying to do is to try and delever the property sector um, and continue on this credit, credit cleanup trend. But on the other hand, they don't want systemic risks and they want to keep the, the property market relatively stable. And so finding that right balance you know, could take a little bit of time because they want to avoid going back uh, with, with a big reflationary stance. Um, and so what we've seen since late September has been uh, a clear change in direction in our view, right? given some of the, the measures that you just mentioned um, and our expectations are that you would see more of this, but it's possible that some of these measures could continue to be piecemeal. And so restoring that confidence may take a little bit more time. Uh, more time in terms of, I mean, what's the outlook for 2022? How much more time do you think? Well, we think one key kind of uh, area to watch for are bond maturities. And if you look at the high yield market in the US dollar space, we estimate there's only around 6.3 billion of principal maturing coming due in January alone. Now, the next few months are going to be relatively low in terms of maturity, but certainly as we head into early next year, that will ramp up quite noticeably. So we think, you know, in order for the market to be able to to, to digest some of those um, maturing, maturing principal payments, you will certainly need to see some kind of improvements in sentiment you know, for the rest of this year.